Okay, so it's it seems I am making a video. Oh, it's time and date. Uh, mm, mm, uh, hopefully, this one. <laughs> <laughs> the past few videos I've been making it at night when I'm lying on in bed and it's very dark. This one it's in the middle of the uh, afternoon. It's a bit it's a bit warm in my room. My my room always gets warm. So I want to talk about reality. So I've been um <clears throat> I've been I've been thinking about uh and I'm struggling with uh, motivation and, you know, the, uh, like, uh, you know, like, like, um, motivation to go, you know, to do things and all of that. So some of the things, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Let's just talk with the reality. Reality. Life has no purpose. Life has no meaning. Um, objectively, a purpose means nothing for you to do, really. Meaning means, like, I guess. Does it make sense in an ultimate sense? Does not make sense. Uh, in an ultimate sense, <laughs> uh, there is nothing to do. Life doesn't make any sense. Uh, okay, and so that is a reality. This is a, sort of like a personal. Uh, it's almost like a metaphysical problem. I would say, I'm not. I'm not going to talk about science and evolution and all that. I'm not. I'm just going to talk about this from a metaphysical kind of like what do you do kind of problem. So the problem is life has no purpose. Life has no meaning. Uh, so what's the point? So what's the point? And remember I made a video called Stop Trying to Reach for the Stars and that's sort of like, you know, people are, you know, why, what, what are the, some of the reasons people live for? People, you know, it's like, what are people trying to do here? You know, are they trying to, they're trying to aspire to people are trying to aspire to something, to some greatness. So examples would be freedom, the ultimate goal, freedom, or self-actualization. Uh, um, there's other thing called creativity. I don't know, I'm creativity. That's that's uh, I should get back to that. Um some kind of it's like yeah, so some, some other people do religion, uh, spirituality. It's sort of like you know, it's 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 like they're looking at reality, looking at the stars and looking at it and they're trying to look at like in awe. In awe. People want to look in awe at creation, at life, and say, what does it all mean? So they're, they're like, what does it all mean? And the answer is, it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything. So that's like the reality. The reality is none of this means anything. It might, you might, an individual might think, oh, my life is 
has meaning and purpose because I am striving for freedom or I'm trying to be the best, uh, I don't know, sports star or actor or I'm trying to, um, you know, achieve things or be the best person I can be and ultimately it doesn't mean anything and in a way I would say I don't want to be mean to people because you know it's very difficult to live life so I, I um, but I, ha I have to deal with reality <laughs> um, so when you tell people life has no meaning life has no purpose and people are like how do you, how do how does the human mind respond to that um i would say the human mind doesn't have a uh, it's not very good at responding to it um you know people always want to look away from the, you know let, let's think about it um when you say, when you ask questions like this, what's the purpose of life? What are we doing? What's what's all this? What's what's all you know? What's it all about? You know, most people like like, oh, if you're not like religious or something, uh, it's like you know the average person is like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> but I think this is a very important question because it sets the foundation for your existence, right? If you're a rational, yeah, you know, we are we are thinking people, and I guess we want to base our lives on something that's real and that's what I'm trying to talk about here is a reality as a foundation for your existence and this is the reality the reality is your life has no purpose it has no meaning and um, we just don't know like you know we just don't know what happens after we die you know, that's another like don't know what happens when we die. When we die, or I think that's the most honest thing you can say, you know. <laughs> and it is this is an uncertainty. This is this is uncertainty, right? People prefer to say, "Oh, I'm going to go to heaven," or even you know, heaven or hell, or even. Uh, nothingness you know the atheists like to say when you die it's the end it's nothing see i think all of them are kind of providing certainty uh, you know certainty is comfortable is comfortable to the human mind human mind like oh yes there's nothing after that that's that gives a certain level of comfort or if you go to heaven or hell that also gives us a level, certain level of comfort but what i'm saying is no the reality is is it's uncertain so you have to you you can't just rest in saying oh it, there's nothing because you don't know so the the problem of reality is that reality has this problem of uncertainty associated with it uh, it's the uncertainty of what happens when we die the, i don't know what happens I don't. I don't know. I really don't know what happens. <laughs> okay, and I think that's the most honest answer. And when you, when, you, when you deal with reality, you have to accept the uncertainty of death, like what happens in death, and that itself, the uncertainty, uh, creates a, a psychological, psychological problem, tension. Uh, you know, because we don't we don't like things to be uncertain, so that's another problem we have to deal with when we're dealing with reality. There is no comfort in certainty. So uh, another response people would say is, "Oh well, if you think life has no m m meaning and purpose, why don't you just off yourself?" <laughs> I don't want to say the the words because it might be banned on YouTube. So people say, "Well, why don't you just off yourself?" My response to that is that is a very that's a very unsatisfactory response. You know, that's that's another type of certainty saying, oh, oh, well, you know, life has no purpose, meaning so, so go off yourself. <laughs> well, 
So there are some problems to this. First of all, it's not easy, not easy to do that. And so that's the one problem. But the second problem is, if you, uh, is that what you're going to tell people? Like, this is the reality. The reality is life has no meaning, no purpose. Uh, death is uncertain. We don't know what happens. And your response to this is wanting to go off yourself. That's not a response. I think that's a, that's a cop-out. I'm not saying you shouldn't do it. What I'm saying is it's sort of like a... Um, it's sort of running away from the problem, you see? So because you can't deal with the fact that life has no meaning, no purpose, and the death is uncertain, and, you know, there's this problem of reality that we're dealing with. And to say, why don't you go off yourself? It's like sort of like, it's, it's like you're trying to shut things off. Again, I'm not saying you should you should or shouldn't do that. What I'm saying is that's not a good answer. That is not a good answer. It's not the answer I would give to people. I wouldn't say, why don't you go off yourself? No, I, because I know that it's not easy to do that. And it's not something that, I don't know. I don't think it's a good answer. I don't think, I think it's unsatisfactory. It's not a good answer. Um, so what is the answer then? I think the answer is, um, you know, what we have, what, how, the answer is not to tell people to go off yourself. The, 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 the response, the response is to accept the uncertainty of death, the meaninglessness, the purposelessness of life, to just accept it. Um, accept it. Accept uh life has no meaning purpose and death is uncertain uh you accept it and uh you know um yeah there is no solution to it it's like a it's like a, it's a it's like it's like a as a human being, I'm like looking at life and looking at the stars and the universe, saying, "What does this mean? What is what does all of this mean?" And the response I get from the universe is nothing. You know, I used to think that you know that there was like a when I look when when I was young, I used to look at the stars and think, "Oh, just as I'm looking at the stars, maybe someone is looking back at me." But I think that's just a projection on my part to make the to make I think reality more uh, easier to deal with, perhaps to my young mind, or um, you know because when you look at the universe and and you ask these grand questions of what does it all mean and and then and if the answer is there's no meaning there's no answer <laughs> there is no answer to that question. If there is no answer because no one is there to give it because the universe is, you know, it doesn't say anything. It's like a complete silence, complete nothingness from the universe. Uh, that's like a very difficult thing for a human psychology to deal with. Because what I'm saying is you, that is what you have to deal with. That is a reality. The reality is, you know... What does it all mean? It, it, it means nothing. It means nothing. What does it all mean? It means nothing. And, you know, when you, some, one of the one response people say is, why don't you be creative? You know, why don't you, you know, okay, life has no meaning, whatever. Why don't you be creative? Why don't you, you know, create meaning and all of that? And Nah, I don't think so. <laughs> I, I don't think so. I don't have the... Uh, how can I create meaning out of meaninglessness? You know, how do I create something? It's like That's like you're expecting me to create the universe out of nothing. <laughs> as people seem to think. But um, I don't know how to create out of something that is inherently meaningless. I don't know how to create purpose out of something that is inherently purposeless. 
so I am stuck with the fact that no, life doesn't have any meaning, any purpose. You know, death is uncertain. We don't know what happens. There is no comfort and certainty. We have to deal with this uncertainty of, you know, death. And uh, uh, even death, you know, like, we don't know what happens. That, that, that itself is like a, what the fuck? It's like, that's a problem in itself, you know, the uncertainty in death. Um... You know, because there is no comfort in heaven or hell. There is no comfort in nothingness, as atheists like to believe. No, it's actually uncertain, which is, which is I think that's even worse, actually. Um, and this is reality. This is the reality that you have to deal with. This is the reality. And there's nothing, like, I, I can't say anything more. You know, I can't, like... Um, I'm not telling people how to live. I'm just saying this is how. This is a point where you have to start. You have to start from this point. And uh, for me, I'm struggling with this. I'm struggling here. Um, it's a very difficult struggle, you know, existential. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right word, but it's like a... It's a huge uh, problem. And then, uh, you know, so one response people ha had is, why don't you find friends? <laughs> is friends or community going to solve the problem? Is this, uh, is this, is this going to... I ask myself, what is a friend? What is a friend? You know, because they say... The people say, yeah, life has no meaning, but if you spend time with other people, it's sort of like a, it helps us deal with it. I say, what is a friend? What is a friend? And you know, I'm do I want friends? I mean, what is this friend person you talk, uh, you speak of? <laughs> and... Um, Uh, my, my the way I was thinking about it, I'm like thinking like why would I want someone like I'm already struggling with lack of meaning and purpose and all of this, and what is a friend going to do to me? What is a friend going to do for me? It's like what are they going to do? Seriously, tell me, tell me what another person who you know let's say take someone anyone, and what is this person going to tell me or do to me or do for me that's going to make my life any better? I mean, they're in the same position as I am in. We're both in the same position. So it's not like a friend is going to help. <laughs> you know, the friend is not going to fix the problem. I'm still having the problem. And, and frankly, having people around is also adds even more problems. Like, because you have to deal with people's own issues. and uh, So I don't know if a friend is actually an answer to this problem. Uh, because even if you are with other people, you still have to deal with this problem, you know. It's sort of like people are saying, well, uh, it's like, a, um, you know, like, why don't you have a beer or take a drug? It's like, oh, here's a friend. That do the... It's like a distraction, like have a friend. And the same, I would say, for love. What, what about love? And for me, it's like, do people really love you? I mean, do people really care about you? Uh, people always want something from you, you know? I mean, why would anyone... Why would anyone want to be around you? Why would anyone care about you? Well, think about this, all right? Let's say you are the most unattractive person. You have no money. You have no... You, have, you don't have any material wealth. You're not famous. You know, imagine that if you're that person, would anyone want to be... Would anyone want to be around that person? <laughs> Would anyone... Am I going around searching for people who are, like, practically invisible? Uh, you know, even homeless people, you can feel, like, compassion. Oh, they're homeless. We, want to feel, we feel sorry for them. So we, That's pity. And you, you'd think that's, like, people care, but they're doing it because, you know, they have some kind of, like, that gives them meaning or some sh something like that. But... Imagine if you're just like a, a, a someone who doesn't... What I'm trying to say is 
when it comes to love, like, I don't think there is such a thing. I think what people, because to me, it's like, well, if you want to be, and I was seeing a video, I hate it, I wish I didn't click on this video, but this guy was saying, oh, you know, you know, you have to be attractive, otherwise, you know, he was talking about men, you know, saying, if you're not attractive, women won't be interested in you, and I'm like, that is just, <laughs> it's like, yes, so, what if you're not attractive and he and he's saying well if you're not you know if you you can make yourself attractive by you know uh, going to the gym and you know being confident i'm like what the fuck so if you don't do those things no one will uh, love you no one will care about you so you have to do those things so this is what people are looking for that's what i'm saying to me the idea of Maybe it's an idea. What I think of love is when you actually care about a person that, uh, you know, they're not going to give you anything. You know, this, the, the caring about anyone, where they're not going to give you anything. Um, and um, it's not like you're going to get any recognition for, for, for loving them, you know. <laughs> you're not gonna get a prize no one is gonna like uh thank you for it um and 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 on top, on top of that it's not like you have some kind of a need in yourself and then you're trying to fill up that need by loving this person that's not really love that's sort of like uh, that's sort of like a, a some kind of a psychological problem on your part if you are a person who is completely psychologically healthy who has no like needs or uh, you know, un unmet whatever needs or you know any kind of psychological problems or whatever? Would you want to love someone who who's not going to give you anything? How can you? No, you can't. You, you can only love someone who who gives you something, whether it's you know time, attention, whatever. So I don't know if that's really love. I think that's sort of like a, I don't know what you call that. That's uh, it almost feels like a transaction, but it's, it's, because it involves emotions, it's hard to like quantify it. But it's sort of, I don't know. I mean, if someone's not giving you something, why would you want to be around them? That's the way I, I feel like it is, you know. So, yeah, I don't know about love. I don't know about friends or community. So you're basically stuck on planet Earth and you have to, this is life. This is a problem. You know, it's like, how can you, it's hard to, you know, be creative. And, you know, I, I did, but I have a piano and I, <laughs> I, I, I bought a couple of, I don't know, maybe a month ago. And I was, I was in, in, you know, interested in learning piano and just practicing and, I don't intend to do it, but I'm not doing it for because I, I'm interested. Anyway, leaving aside that, what I'm saying is, that's not the creativity they're talking about. When they people say, "Why don't you be creative?" Because I've seen this in movies where, where some people say the response to the lack of meaning and purpose is to create. It's to be creative and create meaning and all of this. And I'm like, oh, that is just seems like I'm just lying to myself. Basically, you're telling me life has no meaning and purpose and now you want me to create it? Like, how can I do that? How can I just create it knowing it's just ultimately meaningless? How can I just create meaning out of meaninglessness? You know, I'm not like, I'm not God. <laughs> Maybe God can do it, but I'm not. And, 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 and you know, this is, this makes me very, uh, depressed but my depression is not just related to this it's more, my depression is probably related to you know uh, not sleeping well eating and probably because i'm isolated as well i'm not saying you should be this way i'm not saying you shouldn't have friends or you shouldn't do things with your life i'm what i'm saying is this is a starting point like this is the world that you're living in. This is the, this is reality. This is what's called reality. And I don't think I'm saying anything new here, but 
I think the problem of the lack of meaning and purpose is actually a very big problem. And I don't think we, ha we can just look away and ignore it. I think we have to start from that position. And this is the, this is the foundation for our existence. 